What in tarnation, bitches? It's Noisy Face. Welcome in for a new Sims sandbox style playthrough that I like to call. I honestly couldn't have timed this playthrough better. It's really because I want to mess around with cottage living, play that. Um, but today is National Day of the Cowboy, July 24th, 2021. You can't plan that shit any better than that. This playthrough is inspired by a simmer that I've been watching recently. Do the Decades Challenge, where you start in the 1800s, and then you progress to the 20s and the 30s, and so on and so forth. I will put a link down into her channel below, but I've really been wanting to play with Cottage Living, and I thought, you know, maybe I'll do a Decades Challenge, and they can start in a cottage, and it'll be like, medieval times and then I was like you know what motherfuckers I'm gonna play ye olde west time so uncle pookie and I were talking about how people should just have you know their names were usually their profession such as uh you know you had a thatcher and you had a smith but I wanted to get creative and so I was trying to think of a way I could name my sim and have them like a profession yet a weird name and Uncle Pookie said, barrel maker. I said, you can't make barrels in The Sims 4. To which he replied, barrel rider. Barrel rider. Barrel. Now that is interesting. I said, no, you can't do that either, bish. So I said, what about just barrel? I mean, surely in history there's someone named Barrel. And there totally is. <laughs> there totally is. Someone whose last name was Barrel who migrated to Ireland and then came to the United States in the 1700s, and I really like this Walter barrel. So today we're going to make a couple. We're going to make a Walter and an Agatha, and we're going to start our playthrough. While my game boots up here, I want to take the opportunity to talk about some of the rules that I'm going to have for this sandbox playthrough. I did load in another blank save file and some custom contact, uh, custom sims from the sims resource. I will go ahead and put a link to where I got those in the description below so that if you want to go find them, you can go find them. Now, as is the case with the blank save files, I did go and customize the two worlds that I'm going to be playing in. I'm really, as much as possible, going to avoid going to the other worlds because here's my theory they've moved to oasis springs uh my beautiful wonderful old westy town that i've loaded in a, a bunch of custom buildings custom sims so it looks very old westerny now once a season because i do like to play with the long seasons they can come to the train station here they can buy a ticket and they can travel via train to our new beautiful wonderful world of Henford on Bagley. This is also customized with uh, you know lots and sims and they can come here and compete in county fairs. Each time they buy a train ticket it is a thousand simoleons because it's a lot to take a cow. You can't just shove it in your pocket EA. I'm sorry to break it to you but that is not how it works. The other rule that I want to talk about here while we jump into cast to Make a family uh, for our beautiful Oasis Springs here. They're going to start uh, pretty modest. Is the death Look rule. So, whenever someone gets sick, uh, generally, <laughs> that's not that button. Whenever someone gets sick or is generally not the feeling well dead. in The it's Sims, uh, we're going to go ahead and roll the dice. The chances of that are going to be 70-30 uh, to live or die. 70 being the live, 30 being the percentage of die. I feel that like 50-50 is too high. Also 60-40 is a little too high. So we're going to play D&D rules with that. We're going to say uh, if you roll a 1 or a 2, then you die. And then 3, 4, 5, and 6, you get to live. If you get in a fight and you happen to lose, then you will also have the chance of dying. Uh, maybe if you get caught stealing, you have a chance of dying. 
I'm just trying to look for my Sims here that I want to... Oh, this guy's pretty cool. Let's go with this guy. We'll customize him, obviously. And then, um, you know, let me uh, let me jump on in to see who I want to make Agatha. I do like loading my random Sims in from the gallery because it makes for a more unique appearance. Oh, maybe I like this dude. I really like his hair and his freckles. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here's the thing that I don't know if The Sims is going to let me do because I'd really like to make him an adult. And then I would love to go in and make her a young adult, but then marry them. Can I do that? I can. I want him to be older than her. So that's awesome. I'm going to give her... I like to customize their walk. You know, she's going to be living her life of farming. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll give him that. I'll give him that and her this. We'll go with that. All right, Walter Barrel. In You Want This New Country Caretaker. Tend to the countryside and befriend all the animals and critters. I'm thinking that's what you want for your aspiration. And then, should we give him some likes and dislikes? I feel like we should. <laughs> he likes Americana music. Oh, and oh, classical music. <laughs> likes dresses, likes women in dresses. All right, let's think about his traits and what he is going to have. I think he is going to be an optimist so he's very cheerful he likes he's an animal enthusiast and he likes being outdoors let's give him that i also gotta change the way he looks here because he doesn't look at all like he needs to okay i got his face set i do i didn't really change his hair much i gave him different eyebrows i gave him green eyes a different beard i left the hair i'm digging the hair I think this is gonna be his everyday outfit. This did come with the cottage living, and then I can't put ridiculous cowboy boots on him. I don't know that I want to. I think I might just stick these boots. I mean, he looks, he is very um, country bumpkin, and that's what I'm going for. Dang, Walter, you've been picking up cows in your spare time? Damn. Oh, look at my little dapper gentleman. He's so cute. I don't think he works out all that much. Well, I mean, obviously he has to, but, you know, you know, in the game is what I'm saying. In the game. Sleepwear. I mean, that, that seems accurate. That's, I'm fine with that. This is his party time. This is some more cottage living pack stuff. Swimwear, I had actually just downloaded this because it's adorable, but again, I think it's very fitting. <laughs> oh, I'm tempted not to change this, but like, I, I have to. I have to change this. Here's his hot weather. All right, and then we'll put him in this for cold weather. Um, He looks very good, I think. He's fine. He's all right. Here's our Agatha before we get her all customized. I like that she's got a bunch of freckles too. That's highly entertaining. Okay, Agatha's ambition, which is also gonna connect to her hobbies uh, and some of the things she can do to make money is gonna be Lady of the Knits. She is going to be, she's gonna be family oriented. She's gonna be very proper as all young ladies of the decade are. Let's make her clumsy. Clumsy Sims are fun. Cancuya. She also likes Americana. Sure. She likes classical music. Climbing. Oh. <laughs> she likes uh, baking and cooking. Hobie Rowey. Silly. Yibs. Parter and bow. <laughs> she likes the piano because oh. she likes classical music. Uh -huh. She likes singing. Let's give her this hair with the little bow. And then also this one with the hat is so flippin' adorable for like when she's all fancy. 
Oh, I don't like that hat. Let's go with this one. That's so cute. I love it. Okay, so for her makeup, I just gave her like really light blush on her cheeks in some of her looks here. But I didn't really um go too overboard with her makeup because she's very, you know, she's got that old-fashioned vibe. So she's got her hair back in the bow here. For formal, she's going to wear this cute little hat. For sleep, she's going to have it down and also like when she's swimming. And for cold weather, I had her put it down too. I think I might put her a hat on. I'm see. This is the whole reason I love this bag. Look how freaking cute and country bumpkin-y this is. I am in love with this. And the tights. I'm living for the tights. Okay, here's her formal. She's so flippin' adorable. I love her. Bro, she can't have braces. Did y'all just see that? She cannot have braces. She can have the gap tooth, though. Y'all know I'm a big old fan of this gap tooth. I love it. I think it's the cutest thing ever. I'm just gonna keep her, her every day for sports. I don't think she'll need to be super sporty. I think that's pretty accurate for sleepwear. It's, uh, it looks old-fashioned-y. It looks dress-like. I'm gonna put her in this for party. This is a, cons a custom content dress, but I love it. She looks very, uh, very bewitching. Swimming is very hard <laughs> for this era, so I think I'm just gonna put her in her sleepwear and call it good. Here's her hot weather outfit. Yes, cold weather. She's so cute. I love her. All right, there we go. We've got our Walter and our Agatha. They are absolutely adorable. <laughs> oh my God, she's so sassy. Put those on the cloud. Again, so y'all can play with them if you want to. Okay, I do want to take the opportunity to show you a couple of Sims that I put into my library. So hopefully the population, population, population will load from my library tray. We've got Alexander Hamilton. We've got all the colonial presidents down here. Yeah, Lady Dimitri Sue. You got some Native American slash indigenous peoples. You got the pancakes as royalty. Like, how can you go wrong? That That is what I want to know. Let's take a look at our beautiful barrel house that I built. I meant it to look like a barrel and it looks like a silo. So, you know, got that going for me. I also gave this lot the lot trait where you can't make any food unless you have the ingredients. So there's a problem to that, because I don't have any ingredients to make any food. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we buy a chicken, a hen specifically, and then a baby rooster, and then we plant some food, and then we might do a grocery order, um, because, you know, we're going to die if we don't have food. First of all, let's meet our neighbors, say hi. How's going? Man in crazy shorts who totally belongs in the Old West. I made her all respectful and crap. Oh my god, that's great. Oh, here comes everybody. Look at this welcome wagon. This is great. This is great. Oh, wait, are you guys just running? You're not actually a welcome wagon? You're just running by my house? Well, that's fun. Okay, I told them to go say hi to everybody that was just randomly running by. You know how that goes. They're uh, they're probably not gonna get to do it because those people are way, are way far gone. And check out that car in the old west. Got cars in the old west. All right, here's the thing. I need you, Walter. I need you to buy a chicken. So I think what I'm gonna do is buy this black hen, and then I'm going to buy a rooster chick. So that's $250 right there. I got $77. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is terrible. This is bad. Can I even afford to order grocery? That, that's what I want to know. Can I even afford? Because it's $20. So that would give me $20 to spend. I really don't think I should go down to like 
to um, the least amount of money that I could. But I'm also wondering, like, what we're going to eat. So, I feel like I should buy... Hold on. I want to make, like, some breadsticks. I feel like breadsticks will get us through. So if I do this, what do I need? I need eggs, flour, and sugar. God damn. Hear me out. Maybe I should just buy a wheel of cheese. Since that's all I can afford right now. I can't afford... Oh, hold on. Is milk bread cheaper than cheese? It is not. It is more expensive. Hold on. What's the... Uh, what are cheap things that I can afford? Hold on. Let me think about that. And now I have $11. $11. Wait. Oh my gosh. Look at my little baby chicken. I must name you. I must name you, baby chicken, baby rooster. His name is Salsa? No, I, that is his name. His name will be Salsa. Where's the other one? Didn't I buy another chicken? Like, where's the other chicken? There's my hen, and her name is Black Hen. But if, if the other one's name is, uh is uh salsa i think we should just name her chips her name is snuggles well not anymore it's chips chips and salsa it's all good it's all good right agatha go outside and, and plant some vegetables we need those because we're gonna need to eat them eventually also walter i told you to go get this cheese Go get some cheese, Walter. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I wasn't initially gonna get him a job so soon. Um, because I kind of wanted... Whatever doesn't belong in the fridge has gone into it. Okay, well, that should be my cheese. Cheese should not be in my inventory. It should be in my fridge. Hold on. Open. What do I got? Yeah, some cheese. Okay, cool. Now, okay, so I feel like we're going to die if um, Walter doesn't get a job. So I do need him to do that. Uh, oh, he could work odd jobs. Can I give him a part-time job? Let's find out. I don't know that I actually can. I've got her back here talking to chickens. Hey, just talking to the chickens. Oh, that chicken don't like her. All right, what's going on, Walter? Can I get you a part-time job? Yeah, let's have him do manual labor. I feel like that's fine. We'll do that. Wow, he works every Saturday and Sunday? That kind of fucking sucks, bro. But all right, all right. Oh, yeah, I put this ladder, this ladder in their barrel. That's how they get from floor one to floor two. I'm going to see if she can knit anything or if it's all too expensive. Um, she can't do needlepoint because the cheapest pattern is $80. So maybe she can knit something and then sell that. Let's see. Knit uh, beanies. How much are those? Those are 20 and I can't do that anyway even if I turn off this because I don't have enough money. She's, uh, she's in desperate need for fun here. So I'm going to... I'm gonna tell her to go talk to some chickens. She's just gonna stand here for now. But she'll she'll go eventually. Look, bro, these chickens hate her. When she goes to tell them jokes, they're like, fuck off. So I sent her to go harvest some things that are around us on the lot here, like this flower. We'll tell oh. Well, oh yeah, well yeah, of course you like dancing, Walter. You're dancing for your chicken. Who, do, who doesn't? If this chicken doesn't like this, this chicken is a ho. I've also silenced their cell phones. And I think the way I'm going to do this is that I will turn this on once a season. And that'll be like the mail that people sent to us. It'll make sense. Trust me. What's going to take to make you have fun, Agatha? Thank you to go talk to people. That wasn't fun. Maybe singing, singing will make you have a better time. She's literally just gonna sing in the outhouse. I mean, she's having a grand old time, so that's great. Mm -hmm.